Today is March 4th. Um, this is my uh, fourth week of since I uh, post my sciatica and I've been um, doing pretty well. My leg is doing much better and occasionally there are some statics going on. But anyway, this video is not about that. Um, it's, this video is for one of my friends who is trying to lose her post-pregnancy weight and she posted uh, something on Facebook, her, uh, a selfie of herself while she was at the gym and uh, you know I suggest to her uh, to work her arms and things like that she's doing great but there's always room for improvement there's no perfect bodies or anything like that and she's doing great she's keeping up with uh, her routine I don't know her routine I didn't give her anything to do but I just suggested to her um, and she's willing to accept some of my advice so this video is mostly for her um, it's for her arms and her shoulders and I told her that I had a couple other videos on my uh, YouTube channel but I realized uh, this morning I checked and I saw uh, I didn't really explain any of my movement I just record one of my sessions and with no explanations so this video is pretty much to explain to her uh, how to position her body and uh, how to do some of the arm movements that I did on some of my videos. I didn't go to the gym today. Uh, I did uh, yesterday. I did uh, chest and shoulders and arms. So uh, I'm pretty much bummed. <laughs> my upper body is done with for this week, and I work my legs twice this week. It was Monday and Wednesday, and Tuesday I did uh, back. So my entire body pretty much worked on um, for the entire week, and I did legs twice because of my sciatica. So next week is going to be a new routine. Um, that's a different story. But let me get back to the shoulder exercise. What I have here, I have a two pound weight. So um, normally when I work my shoulder, when, my, when I work my shoulders, um, I do lateral raise and front raises. And sometimes I do shoulder presses. So for the lateral raise, is you don't really need heavy weight. Uh, as you progress, this pretty much means nothing to me. Um, but as you progress, uh, the two pound is gonna feel like nothing. So you have to increase your weight. Uh, I think right now I'm just doing 15 pound. I don't really need that much. Uh, there are times where I feel like I could do, I could go heavier. But I don't really want my arm to go really bulky, so I kept the weight to a minimum, and I do more rep instead of uh, instead of doing um, of increasing the weight and do less repetition. Um, so I just use lower weight, more repetitions. So if one day I might feel like I want to do a heavier weight. I'll increase the weight. Uh, the weight but less repetitions so here to get started for the lateral raise I don't like to put my shoulder straight like that why because doing this it's good there's nothing wrong with it but I'm not really working my forearm and the joints are some things that you have to be careful with because there's not that much blood going through the joints. So you don't really want to mess up your joints from doing exercises. So instead, I like to put, I like to bend the shoulders slightly, uh, my elbows slightly, and, and just raise it. Do a couple raises up, and when, when I'm up, 
I twist my arm like this, like I'm, you know, a pitcher, I'm putting water into a cup, okay? So the lateral raise, I do about maybe uh, 10 to 12 or depending on how I feel that day. At least the minimum should be 10, okay? By the time you get to 8, you're going to start feeling it. Once you get to 10, it should be good, all right? So I squeeze my arm. I squeeze my uh, arm on the dumbbell, and then I rotate my arm once my wrist once it gets up, like this and up, this and up. You do about ten to twelve repetitions, like this, and maybe three sets of ten to twelve reps, and then you switch the arm. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other because you want to balance everything out. Keep the core tight, okay? Bend the arm a little bit and you twist like this. Don't bring it all the way up. Once you get here, that is not doing anything. You bring it about this high and this low. Don't bring it close to your body. It's up and twist. You twist it and twist. Okay, the same amount you do on one side, do to do to the other side to balance everything out. So this is gonna work this side of your shoulder. Now for the front raise, you wanna work the front portion of it. You do the same thing. You don't need to bring your arm straight like this. Okay, just slightly bend it because. Again, same concept, you're not really working your forearm when you do any raises. You're working this part of the shoulder. So there's no reason for me, in my view, to bring your arm straight ahead. You twist it slightly and you twist. I mean, you bend your, uh, shoulder, uh, your elbow slightly and then when you get up, you twist it like that. You twist your arm down and twist. Don't bring it all the way down. Don't bring it all the way up. It's just minor movement. Like this, like this, and this. And whatever you do on this side, you do on the other side. Bend those shoulders slightly. You bring it up and twist. And there are times, actually, um, when, <clears throat> depending on how I'm feeling that day, um, I could just go like this and hold, hold my arm like this for as long as I can. Keep the core tight and you hold it as long as you can. And then you do the same thing with the front. This time you could actually um, extend your arm all the way in front. Keep it straight and you hold it as long as you can. You're going to feel the burn where it actually, the muscles you're trying to target. You could just hold it and try to bend your knees a little bit and keep the core tight. And you do the same thing on uh, the lateral. So two things for me, you could do this, lateral raises by bending the elbow and twisting the wrist once you get up. Do the same thing on the other side, twist. And then for the front raises, same thing. I like to do them one at a time. Um, I feel like when, I mean, I see a lot of people do it both, um, you know, at the same time. But I like to do it one at a time while one hand is holding my core to make sure this is engaged and this is doing the work. It depends on how you feel. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. You could do it whatever you feel, but uh, the, the concept, the, uh, the way of doing it for me is like this. You bend the wrist and you twist the, uh, your wrist when you go up, like this. Same thing for the front raise. And that. So that's one way. Or you just do static, you stay in one position and you hold it as long as you can. It works the same thing. And you do the side. You 
hold it as long as you can okay and for the shoulder uh, here you could do shoulder presses you could do it sitting or standing you hold this tight you push up and I think there are machines uh, uh, life fitness machines usually all the uh, fitness facilities have the machine to do shoulders and pretty much everything but for the, the, uh, the free weight that's just the way you could do it you know keep the core tight bend the knees slightly then you push up don't go like this don't go like that don't bring it all the way down like this that this and that and there are times people do um, how do they call it uh, all no presses go like this come down up I don't usually do it so when I'm doing my workout I like to focus on that and if I really want to do this I do a couple reps like this sometimes I switch back and forth I'll do six like that six presses going up and six going like this so I really engage the muscles and it gets tired really quickly when you switch back and forth you know the body get used to it for a couple reps going like this once you switch it it's like oh what happened I thought we were going the other way then it gets tired really quickly so again there's no right or wrong way you decide how you want to do it but for me it's this core tight and press up see I'm already feeling it with just two pounds okay and now for the biceps I never make a day for just shoulders if I'm doing upper body like for instance on Tuesday I did back then I will add the triceps which is the back of the arm and then yesterday I did another upper body which was chest then I did the biceps I never really make a time or a day to just work on my arms because I really don't want it to get bulky I just want it to be in shape and what I do for biceps um, I will work the rack where I start with 20 pounds and go down the rack until I get to 5 pounds and then I will come back and switch either 15 pounds or 10 pounds then back to 20 back and forth until my arm is tired so for the biceps curl what I like to do is when I'm uh, when I'm standing I like to put my elbow against my uh, my oblique so that will keep it steady <clears throat> and then I will squeeze 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 like that I turn my wrist when I come up push down when I go down like this let's do one arm at a time this down up down here's the side up down up down so that's how I usually do my bicep with the dumbbells and since I'm at home I don't have a barbell I have this stick the barbell you know it's the long uh, handle with weights on both sides so what I like to do same concept with the dumbbells I keep my elbow against my oblique my side of the my abdomen and then I'll squeeze keep the core tight bend your knees slightly and you squeeze you do as many repetition as you want you normally you know for starter you could start with between 10 and 12 repetitions three sets all right like this try not to move your elbow don't move, let this go in like that you want this to stay steady uh, at a constant um, uh, stationary that's the word stationary without being moving too much because this is what you want to work if anything else is moving is like the uh, the power the weight the the concentration is spreading out you want to concentrate on your biceps okay bend your knees slightly 
core tight, put your elbow against your side, and you squeeze up. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. And as you get more advanced, there are many different ways you could, you could do uh, this. There's, there are times I do sets of 21s where uh, I'll start, you know, same concept, knees bent, core tight, elbow against the body. I, squeeze, I do seven reps going halfway. Halfway. And then once I'm done with the seven rep here, I do seven rep coming up. Remember, my elbow is still against my, my body. Now I will start up and go halfway. Do seven rep like this. Then once I'm done, I'll do another seven rep where I'll start all the way down and come all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. I may have one video where I might have done it. I don't know if I explained how I, what I was doing, but I probably record one of my workouts just doing it without explaining anything. So pretty much the basic concepts to get started, elbow against your abdomen, knees slightly bent, core tight, okay? You do regular, just regular. You squeeze up, regular regular biceps girl with the barbell. I know I'm using a stick. I'm not at the gym. I don't have a barbell here. Now, as you progress, you probably, let's say you start with a 20 pound barbell and it's, you really, you could do at least 15 without getting tired. Then you can co uh, and put the set of 21 where Seven rep down. You start down and come halfway. Down, halfway. Down, halfway. You do seven rep like this. Then you do another seven rep without taking any break. You bring your arm all the way up and you go halfway. Up, halfway. Up, halfway. You do seven rep like this. And once you're done with that, you start all the way down again. But this time, you're coming all the way up. Down, all the way up. Down, all the way up. All the way up. By the time you're done, your biceps is going to burn. Uh, 20 pounds is going to feel like a 50 pound. So these are some of the things that I do to work with my biceps. And there are times, for instance, when I really want to concentrate on the biceps, I will use the bench I don't have a bench here but I have this chair here hopefully mm -hmm. it could do it I didn't try it before I mention it so you will adjust the the bench at the gym where you know it it's at a regular height for you you're gonna stationary your your, uh, your tricep against the the bench so all here all your tricep all the way to your elbow is gonna rest against the bench. You're gonna concentrate mostly on your biceps. So all here, pretend this is a, a, a bench, which I don't have, oh, actually I have. You know what, let me pause the camera, I'm gonna get it. But it's, it's too low. Anyway, my other bench is too low. I won't be able to do it properly. Maybe I should, I'll go get it. Time out. So this might explain it a bit much better. Um, it's not the type of bench that they have at the gym, but sometimes I will do it here. So what I will do, I will rest my triceps from here to my elbow against the pad, and then I'll just curl up. Bring it up and twist down. Bring it up twist down, up and down. And you will do the same thing for the other arm. And that will pretty much concentrate mostly on the biceps. And for the forearm, and the thing is that we have to really focus 
on our body. This is why sometimes you have to take pictures of yourself. Even though you're working, let me bring this up again. You really have to take pictures of yourself, depend on your goal, what you're trying to accomplish. Um, you have to look at yourself to see if your body is proportioned. There are a lot of people who work so much on their shoulders where their shoulders become really big and you're seeing this part of the body, uh, their arm is like, I don't know how to call it, so small and this is coming out big and the chest is lacking. So this overpower the entire upper body. So you have to really focus on, look at yourself and see if there is proportion that's going on. If you do too much lateral raises and front raises, this is gonna be built up. And if you don't work these parts, this is gonna overpower everything. It doesn't look good in my eyes. So you have to, if you're gonna work the shoulders, make sure you work the biceps, the triceps, the forearm, the chest, to make it all work, all proportion. So um, the next thing that I, to continue with the arm, I did the, uh, the shoulders, the side, the front, and for the back, I have other video, I don't know, maybe I'll do something here to show you what you can do to work the back of your shoulders, uh, it, your pec. So, uh, not your chest. Um, for the forearm, what I usually do is that again with the with the with the bench. This is too low. I, uh, my back is not that great, so I don't want to mess it up. With the bench, I will adjust the bench, and then what you will do is you're gonna stationary this part of the body of your arm because you're not using it. You don't need to work it. And actually, your forearm is going to be rested too. So what I usually do is do some wrist movement. I'll go up like this, maybe 20 repetitions like that. To do that, I usually use the 5 pounds. You don't really need a heavy weight. I'll go like this, 20 reps like that. And then I'll turn it and do 20 reps sideways. And once I'm done with that, I do another 20 like this. And then... You do this at the end, and then that. So do all those movements will work the forearm. There are people who use the barbell. Again, I don't like to use joints that I don't really need to work on, where people use some really heavy load. Let's say this is a regular barbell. They will do their things like this or put it behind their back, you know, doing things like this. Same movement. Why I'm I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting older. Why will I put so much weight on those shoulders when I'm not really working my shoulders? Um, put more loads on my um, elbow when I don't really need it. So all I need to do is rest all these on the bench and then just do the movement. It works as good as if I'm doing this with, let's say, you know, the guys usually use whatever amount of weight. They will do this, same movement. So I just put on a bench and do the same movement, but different direction. I work like this. I'll work it sideways. Like this, I'll turn it. Then I'll went, go back again, do it down like this and then like that I have a video where I show you how to do uh, how to do that I probably will put the link on the video on the description box so it's this you're still working that this you're still working all here down like this sideways and then you twist it so you're really working the wrist joint and you're still working the muscles in the, of the forearm. Now, for the back of the shoulders, one simple thing you could do, 
you just bend I'm gonna try to you bend down you could sit on a bench or you could bend like this and do this you raise okay that should work the back of your shoulders so my friend I don't want to put your name on the video I hope this helps and continue your workout you're looking great and like I told you on your Facebook page please don't just run on the treadmill you need to do some resistance workout to actually strengthen the muscles being on the treadmill is gonna make you lose some weight but the skin is gonna be just flabbing around you need to as you're losing the weight you want to look strong all right so I hope this helped and I will tag you um, I'll send you the link of this video and hopefully it helps take it easy